Hey guys. Doing melon at the moment, it's really good. Why not I'm watching a show called Bling Empire? It's quintessentially it could be similar to Man, the lighting on me is off here. Another angle. I can, I, I, I can make this work. <laughs> My nose is still blocked, man. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? I can make this work. A man makes it work. A man. A man. Um, quite honestly, I could use cups and plates. This is a pain in the ass. Um, yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so stupid. What am I doing with my life? I'm recording a video, we're gonna get zero views. Uh, if this goes viral, I'm gonna be honestly so embarrassed. Yo, YouTube staff, please don't get this viral. <laughs> honestly, I'm not doing this for shit with the money. I'm doing it for funsies. Because I'm doing it for funsies. I just hit the floor. What's wrong with me? I just sit on the floor. I don't know how uh, stupid I look at the moment. You can see my face, full frontal, the sofa behind me. Okay. <laughs> this setup is so scuffed. But if you look, if you look at it, I get the camera. Right? It looks like this. This is what I'm looking at, and this is my dog. Hey, you know that that one character in the SCP, Mister. Mr. Nice Guy, or well, I don't know what it's called in the SCP says, man, why are you so got goddamn cutie? Mm. You guys can't see his eyes, I think, but he's so cute. You want melon? You can't even eat melon. I'm gonna tease him though. Ah! Oh! Oh, <laughs> not that good little guy. Mess it up. I just blew my nose. What I want to talk about today is I don't like watching movies. It's quite interesting. I'm literally watching a TV show. But this, this TV show, Bling Empire. Even though I don't like watching movies, I've watched two movies so far within this year. Um, it's a brand new movie during New Year's, Kingdom of Osiris, Egypt, some stupid shit like that. When the earth was flat and all a bunch of unnecessary bullshit and it was really bad guys, it was really really bad. <laughs> and I, I didn't finish it by the way. No, I did finish it and I don't, I don't, I don't remember the ending. But yeah, I don't remember it particularly to be quite a good movie. Then I watched after no, before that, I had watched no, I watched three movies. I watched that Chinese movie about the world being infected by plants. Like, what the fuck is that? Then I watched Crazy Rich Asians, and then I watched that Kino okay, Science some latest movie I watched. But the most notable movie that I watched so far was definitely Crazy Rich, Crazy Rich Asians. And I watched this Bling Empire, which is quite similar to Crazy Rich Asians in the sense that it's quite dynastic, it's quite noble. It's quite, how do I say this, aristocratic. It's just, just a bunch of socialites, that's it. And their problems, like, are, not, are, are never money. Their problems are always mediocre bullshit. Like, well, the kids, and this, this, and this, and uh, this guy is surely to have kids at the moment. I, it's like a reality show, I bet he is actually surely to have kids. He has to ask for his parents' mission to have a, a daughter by a surrogate. Could you just... Do it anyway, you have money, like who cares? I will always consult my parents. Let's see if it's, if it's okay with them. To get them blessed, understand that. But like, I'd be too free to do that shit. Like, I wouldn't. I would let them help me come to a decision. Where the hell is my. I'll put it in the thing. Let's see. I just had a clean nose. It's spot. I think I was thinking of popping it, but yeah, it's too early. It's too premature. I was thinking, I would consult my parents had I decided to have a child, like if I wanted to have a child or another child, but if I make a decision, the decision I make is purely based on myself. You have to be decisive in the modern day. 
cannot afford to be indecisive. Because if you're if, for every single minute that you're indecisive, you cost yourself. I'm actually tall here, this angle. But low here. If I twist it fully, it is not it's not an angle, it's not straight. If I pick it straight, then oh, this looks goofy. I'm, I'm, quite, I'm worried it looks goofy. You're looking down on me, effectively. You are looking down on me, aren't you, you bastard? Anyway, I'm watching this Blake Empire and I quite love it. I quite honestly love it. I have, I never felt this away from a TV show ever. I, I I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel I don't know how to describe it in words. I don't know how to feel I don't know, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. But I'm like a psychopath. I don't know how to describe it in words, how I like the show, how much I feel about the show. I wrote the show I'm like boring, don't care. Yeah. But I said that I watched the show, it's so utterly stupid. I just can't help. We keep watching. It's so stupid. It, Cause one day I'll believe myself to become I believe myself I will become rich. It's very, very common. It's surprisingly more common than you think. It's uncommon and both common at the same time. I think social media sorry for my voice by the way, I'm sick. But social media definitely accentuates it. And what are you looking at? The melons? Look at me all creepy. I will hug you. You don't like that, do you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Come here. Hey. Come here. Come here. You see, hide the camera. Hello, I am Fong, and I am a cat, and here is my boss. Why are you spreading your legs like that? That's zesty as hell, man. I mean, you're not supposed to spread your legs like that. Uh, uh, uh. You're too much of the viewers. Mm. <laughs> he's so cute. Mm. Mm. Why are you such a good boy now? He's sitting over there. Yeah, he's sitting over there. Oh my god, dude. He's running away. He just jumped out of my thing. I was gonna gently put him on the chair. He just jumped and hurt himself, I believe. Great cat. But the reason why I watch this Blake Empire, despite me not watching movies, is because I really, really want to empathize, empathize with these people. I want to sympathize with these people. I want to see what they think, maybe how they behave, they infiltrate their society, take their money. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> money is. Money. No, no way. But money has a unique space in my life. I, I know it does not make me happy. Because if you keep buying shit, you will not be happy. Happiness is something deep within. Like, I think we all know this at some sort of level. However, we, we very rarely understand this. It's different between knowing and understanding. I say it in all the videos. Knowing is like, oh yeah, you know about it, but you don't really enact on the knowledge. Understanding is enacting on the knowledge and executing it in a, in a, in a way in which it has a positive or negative impact on your life. Like, if you understand that drugs are bad for you, you would, uh, and you still take it, if you know that drugs are bad for you, you still take it, you understand the uh, thing, the detrimental effect that drugs has. I don't know that in a weird way, quite a stupid way. Um, but to put it in layman's terms, the reason why I like watching the show so much, despite literally despising all movies, is because I heavily, heavily, not necessarily relate, because I do relate to this but on a smaller scale. I have been in gated communities in Vietnam of people that are incredibly wealthy, literally houses that are worth 400k, 600k, 700k. I've been in houses, they are my family members owning these houses. They're incredibly social like, uh, like. They're incredibly um, aristocratic like, dynastic like, like the way this girl describes her husband and her husband's family. They're incredibly soft. However, especially in the country where how is that 600 or 700k will be the norm in London, for example, but in the Vietnam, it's a gated community, plus, what else? The average wage is like $200 a month, $300 a month, $350 actually, I think it recently increased because of the uh, recent surge in the economy, which is absolutely fucking abysmal if you compare it to that amount of the numbers of these houses, like, I'm quite financially transparent, I made a few thousand in my business, that is nothing compared to a house, that is, that is the goal. House, car, uh, luxury to go on holiday whenever you want to, first class, that is the goal. Those thousands contribute also to that goal. And 
seeing people that never struggle with this is quite weird. It's quite weird. Quite different. And you'd be like, oh yeah, you're copying, you're watching movies. Sure. I hate every single movie I watch. I cannot describe you enough. I hate every single movie I watch. I cannot be like bothered. I, how do I say this? Every single movie I watch, I cannot bear to keep watching the movie. Straight up. I genuinely cannot bear it. Because something about watching the movie, it's like so mundane and boring. It doesn't feel real, nothing. But this this weird ass Blink Empire show feels so. It's so stupid. It's good. Anyways, I'm going back to watch my show. That was really odd. That 10 minutes? That's my stupid ass talking about show, man. Catch you guys in the next one. Okay, remember, hard work is easy for me. You hear that? I said, remember, hard work is easy for me. Ah! I just hit my spot, bro. Go for man. Hey! So, there's no one there. Oh. Okay, the next one.